Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So in yesterday's video, we have discussed about the important topic for the Salesforce developer. If you are a developer and uh, going for an interview, so what topic you should look into it? Okay. So in today's video, we will be discussing the admin topic. If you are a sales looking for a Salesforce admin job or for a change, then what topic you should look into or what are the important topics you should go through? Okay, we will be discussing the same in this video. Okay, so on the number one comes is the security model. So in Salesforce security model or can say security settings every, uh, which covers the record level, object level, field level security and the all org level security all this complete model you should be aware about so the question can be asked to you either explain the complete security model in salesforce or the scenario based questions can also be asked from this okay so this is the most important topic all the questions related to like profiles permission set users uh, or wd sharing setting sharing rules comes under this sharing model only okay so before going to an interview try to prepare best with the security model topic now the next topic comes here is the flows as we know earlier we are also having the workflow rules and the process builders in the automation tools so flows are not given the much weightage but now we are also aware about that workflow rules and process builders are of no use in the coming time and only the flow is the one on which the all the automation will be will be created or will be done so because of which in we have also seen in every release salesforce used to focus more on the flows and give us the modifications and the more points updations related to the flows okay so this is the most important topic uh, again another so you must be aware about the types of flows when to use which flows what are the limitations we have in the flows why uh, in which scenarios you will going to decide either i should create a flow or should go with the triggers and also you must be aware about about the limitations and the uses pros and cons mainly we can say okay what are the limits of dml's loops we are having in this flows so you must be aware about all these things here now the next is come so these two are the most important topic okay and contains the most weightage related to your salesforce admin interviews uh, they can ask you your project also under this flows what project you have worked on what the complexities you have faced till now working on the flows so you have to explain everything to them now the next we have here is the governor limits okay governor limits is also an important topic you must be aware about the different different governor limits that is the numbers we can say so you must be aware about the numbers and then we have the execution order okay execution order is also the important topic in the salesforce admin what is the execution order in salesforce so i don't think they will be more focused on the scenario based questions in this execution order but yeah, you must be aware about the execution order so you can like like the when will the system auto validation or these uh, custom validation or the automation tool will going to run so you must be aware about the flow of the uh, execution order flow of salesforce okay now the next we have here is the approval processes okay so approval process is not a big topic it is uh, another automation tool for the or when we require the approvals or want to follow some hierarchy so in such cases we will going to use this approval process okay so in such in this approval process you must be aware about when we should go with the approval process what are their use and what things we can do or what tasks we can perform using this approval processes okay next we have the validation rules okay well in the validation rules why what is the use of validation rules when we can use these validation rules what are the functions might be asked we have in the validation rules or what are the limits of this validation rules 
because all the time validation rules are not uh, cannot be used so there are some limits also in such factors can we use the validation rules or not so you must must be aware about the limits also of the validation rules okay like on the update and the insert cases only we can use our validation rules if the scenarios comes to delete a record so in such cases validation rules will not going to work okay another then this we have the small small topics like the relationships okay we have different different relationships in the salesforce so in which master and the lookup are the two main relationships you must be aware about the difference between both the relationships when to use which one so uh, be prepared yourself with the scenarios in which you will going to use this master relationship and in which you will going to use this lookup relationships okay and then we have the objects and the fields okay So what are the different types of objects we have, when to use which one and what are the different kinds of data types of fields we have, okay. What are their limitation like in the uh, rich text area and long text area, what is the difference between both, okay. And what are their limitations also. So you must be aware about this objects and fields data type also. And another thing, then we have the roll up summaries also which comes under this master relationship only. So but many of you use to forget to look into this roll-up summaries okay so roll-up summary is also an important topic so what are the different different functions we have in this roll-up summary you must be aware about this and scenarios can become like if i want to change master relation to lookup relationship what are the factors i need to consider if want to change lookup to master then what i will do so in case of changing master to lookup relationship what will happen to the roll up some of these fields what we will going to do with them either we will going to delete or will going to create some another fields uh, and the custom automation to prepare to have the same result as we will going to use this roll up summaries okay so these kind of questions can be asked related to this so according to me i think these are the most important topic which salesforce admin should look into before preparing for the interviews okay security model and the flaws are the most important topic and if flows you have already worked on the projects try to explain the your projects what are the complexities you have faced and you have any workarounds also which you have used in your flows then that is a very good point if you will sh going to share then the governor limits execution top uh, execution order approval processes validation rule relationships all the relationship you must be know uh, what are the different relationship we have and in this two main are the master and the lookup relationship and then the objects and the fields different type of objects we have okay and this in the uh, objects also junction object also comes so what are junction object you must be aware about this also and try to explain the scenario also while giving a definition of the junction object and the different data types of fields we are having then the role of summaries okay so these are the topics you can take a look to these topics before preparing yourself for the interview and if you know any other topic which is important for the salesforce admin you can share same in the comment section okay and if you have any queries or any questions do let me know in the comment section thank you